two of Glasgow's busiest health boards, NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde and NHS Lothian, are taking part in a million pound project to evaluate the use of artificial intelligence in healthcare. It hopes to accelerate AI in Scottish hospitals to improve patient outcomes with faster diagnoses of lung cancer and strokes. Dr Mark Hall, consultant radiologist at Glasgow's Queen Elizabeth University Hospital, says it'll help redirect medical attention to the cases that need it most. We've had patients in the past couple of weeks where we've had a CT scan done one or two days after the chest x-ray's been done and they've started down that lung cancer pathway within one or two days of seeing the GP. Prior to this coming in, some of these patients were waiting eight weeks to get that journey started. So AI really helps us reshuffle the pack and prioritise. Artificial intelligence can't go unchecked, so evaluation company Aval oversees its application, ensuring global data sets remain consistent for use on British patients, and AI drift doesn't diminish its effectiveness. Aval founder and CEO Kanwal Bhatia says human lives are at stake, and AI can aid a heavily burdened NHS. Our healthcare system is under strain. We have a shortage of radiologists globally, and so by testing these products fast, and but also thoroughly, we can help bring the benefits of AI to patients much quicker. Depending on its application, the public is yet to render its verdict on the benefits of AI. But when it comes to better health, Glaswegians are largely on board. If it makes things more efficient, I'm all for it. Um, if it makes people healthier, I'm all for it. Some extremes I do think it's okay, but in others, what are they doing with the details? The way AI's gone now, anybody will be able to log into them. So, where's the privacy in it? I think for like the health matter, that's really good, really important, because they seem to be doing a lot more than what the science has been doing for a long time. AI products take nine months to validate, and with more than 200 available to a single hospital department, few trials provide real-world solutions. NHS Scotland hopes AVAL's validation project opens the way, cutting costs and redistributing resources to save lives. Tony Maguire, GB News, Glasgow.